Hey, my babies. How y'all doing? Well, I don't know. Have y'all heard about Amora Lex? Y'all know what I think about Amora Lex? She's not a mother. Let me tell y'all a little bit about this story and our love for Chase and Kiki Prime, the big dogs, the Tavis Prime. For y'all to look into this story because y'all need to talk about it. It's a whole lot of, a lot of is going on with this girl about these children. Then she volunteered and gave these children to CPS. But all this time, she was having issues with her children. They had took her children one time before because the grandmother said the children was being abused. Yes, the children was being abused. And see, that's what makes me mad with the state, but this time I hope they don't get those children back to that girl because next time they'll probably end up in a damn sea somewhere floating underneath the water. Now, the way how I'm getting the story, because I've been trying to get into the story, but I wasn't trying to get into it like that because I didn't know it was so deep. But or more or less, it's a monster if you ice auntie. I don't think you need those children, but I'm going to be with your grand grandmother because I just raised them on the mind. Then because the state, you don't have problems before. But see, a lot of people think that you ain't never had problems with CPS because they seen you volunteer your kids to give to CVS, CPS, because the baby father had OD off of drugs. Mm -hmm. Then she said the ones that the twins, his father, he on the line, R.A.P. her. It's, it's just so much crossed up on this damn story. You say all this food, and then that proof is coming out that she was really abusing these babies. You just don't want your damn children. I don't know why you should have let the children stay with grandma from the get-go. Y'all make me sick. Y'all try to pray, play. Russian roulette with these damn children. They not gays. You can't keep thank you again. Give them to somebody <coughs> and then when you get ready you can take them back. F that. F all of that. You don't need them. You don't need to be raising them because you don't have issues with CPS before about your kids. You don't need your kids, or more or less. You do not need your kids. And you talking about you going to come and get them back. You don't fucking need them back. You don't need neither one of them because if people have sacrificed, you finna get a damn degree, and you in two colleges. It's mother out there work at fucking checkers and raising seven and eight damn children and fucking doing it. Y'all just some weak bitches. These days, you can't raise simple children, giving them bath or bottle, giving us a love. It was nine of us, and my mama hugged every last one of us. Where's y'all time? Y'all just shit children out and just forget about them. She got five kids, y'all. These mothers are weak these days. They don't even try. <laughs> College education girl finna graduate with her bachelor's next week and she's still in another college. No, the sound like you wanna do for yourself. Cause a mother with five kids, you want time to yourself. You wanna go back to stripping, you wanna go back to whatever you was doing, chasing niggas. But you don't want your children. So let somebody else raise your kids. That one in there. She told me she was going to get him back, too. She told me everywhere she seen me, me and her bump heads, she said, I'm coming to get my baby. She said, I got a lawyer. I said, baby, you don't need no lawyer. You can get him anytime you get ready. I promise you, I ain't getting one. Because anytime you show these people the proper paperwork and you don't took the classes, because that's all she had to do. To get him back. And auntie been waiting on him for 19 damn years. 
she never showed up. When she did show up, she was apologizing. So, oh, she done had to learn some sense then. Oh, thank you, Miss Loretta, for raising my son. Miss Loretta, I was doing you so wrong. But you know he's a good boy. And he turned out to be so respectful. And I used to let him go with his mom. When he got by 14. Because he, I, I, you know, spend the weekend with him. Spent the week with him. He didn't even make it to a damn week. Because you know why? Because he know he got it good here. But I told you, when children go off and live somewhere else, and they don't have it good as they have it home, what we have to do? Get in our goddamn vehicles and go get their ass. Children know what they got it good these days. They ain't damn stupid now. They know when they got it good. Then all the friends want to come running to their house because friends see how good they got it. Yes, but Amar Lex, I have no respect for her. Give her a chance. Feel sorry. Y'all let me know in the comments how y'all feel about it. Because like I say, I raised one and I'm, I'm, for, I'm for grandma. I'm for grandmother. Because I know I raised one. She told me she was coming back to get him. She ain't never come back. Never. Y'all weak ass women with these children. Do the women's in the 50s and the 60s got to show y'all how to do it? Do we really, really got to show y'all how to do it? But I don't want to raise no more, y'all. <laughs> I ain't going to even lie. But if I have to, I will. But I pray to God I don't. All right, I love y'all. And let me know what you say in the comments. Bye.